Ireland nears the end of a second lockdown, there are still moments of rest and relaxation. This is Lockdown Bar. And this week's poem is entitled On a Blind Harper, Part 2. In the West came the beginning of music. Each creature is wont to follow its nurture. Munster's land of rich, peaceful dwellings is the stock of the first generations. Witness enough thereof is the strife of Meal's two sons, when the young band of champions were sharing the smooth, wooded soil of Breg. They brought, at all events, to Ireland a poet and a musician from beside Brogan's tower of fair mantles over the swelling stormy sea. Unshi was the minstrel's name. Kier, son of Kiss, was the head of our ancient law. We shall no further name these two olives of Meal's blithe children. Famous Ever ordained the lots. Famous Ever ordained that lots should be cast for their artists, when Erevon had parted from him amid the gales. To Ever what prize could be greater? Fell then the musician against his soft face, bright, gentle and fair, the lot was successful. The kingship of music is thine henceforth, following the track of the royal youths. Ever Fionn's ancient race has an inheritance that uplifts the mind. Had it not been so before, now at least the root of music is in Munster's plain, a statement that can be vouched for. Today, blind Nicholas, for correctness and power of melody has the champion's portion of the music of Baunva, the foundation of the knowledge of art. Framer of mystic feats, thief of the winter night, a stirring of sorrows in the wayward hearts of women, a voice one would not think to hear in fairyland. Cause of the cherishing of grief, Expert in exalting courage, melody that shortens long days, sweet as the cuckoo in May. The brute beasts sleep at the beauty of her playing, hearkening to the dying strains from his quick fingers. The bird would wait to be struck. More in number than the growing grass is that which spreads from the hands of Nicholas. The swathes of his calm and dewy arms, of the bright reed growth of tuneful strings. Like a carven image, one knows not that it is not human, is the dead clear melody of his happy fingers to kindle the imprisoned music. Now one may be tempted, as I was initially, to think that Music being born in the West is something of a, a Eurocentric piece of terminology, but I think it more means the province of Munster, which is sort of Southwest. I say this because it later refers to Munster as being the birthplace of music, which I think is probably what the bard was getting at, that within Ireland, the birthplace of music was Munster. Especially seeing as he talks about the, the Sons of Meal carrying music over to Ireland, and they came eastward from around the area of the Mediterranean to Ireland. So that doesn't really make sense if we're going for a sort of the Western world kind of imagery. I hope you've enjoyed this poem. Thank you for watching.